very good morning i am neeraj kumar in the previous uh, video we have seen that how to find the factorial of a positive integer now let's see the program how to calculate and find factorial of a given number in the program we have declared two variables n and i as integers and a variable factorial as unsigned long it is declared as unsigned long to ensure that the factorial should have sufficient storage space to store the resulting values here we are taking input of n from user the n is the number of which we have to calculate the factorial now in the next block we are checking whether the entered number is positive or negative if n is less than 0 it means that it is negative so if n is less than 0 it and factorial of a negative number cannot be defined so simply we are displaying the error message that you have entered negative number please enter positive number and we will directly move out to return zero that will will exit the program in case the number is positive we will go to the else block that is the false part here we have initialized variable factorial with one now uh we will enter in the into the loop here i is initialized with 2 and this is the test condition i is less than equal to n and the last part that is increment part here we are incrementing the value of i by 1 so uh, when we enter the loop so it will first initialize i with 2 and then check the condition whether i is less than n or not if i is less than n then we will enter the loop now once we are inside the loop uh, the value of i is multiplied to the current value of factorial it is equivalent to the statement factorial is equal to factorial multiplied by i that is the value of i is multiplied to the current value of factorial that is right now 1 and value of i is equal to 2 so 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 and result will be stored in the factorial so factorial will be having 2 in the next line we are just displaying the current status of what is the value after first pass it will display the current value and uh, again once we encounter the braces we will return back to increment section and we will increase the value of i by 1 so initially i was 2 now after increasing it will be 3 after that we will move on to the testing uh, test condition section here we will check whether value of i is less than n or equal to n or not if the condition is true we will again enter the loop and multiply the value of i that is 3 with the previous value of factorial that is 2 so 2 multiplied by 3 it will be 6 again it will display the result here and we will return back to the increment section again we will increase the value of i again testing section test the condition if it holds true enter the loop and the process will continue until the condition uh, is false finally once the condition is false uh, we will uh, be outside the loop and we will encounter the statement print tab factorial of this n is factorial so it will display the final result that is factorial of the given number
this is how we can calculate factorial of a number just run the program and check output say let's start with 0 as we know factorial of 0 is 1 here we are getting factorial of 0 is 1 another example here we are entering say 1 factorial of 1 is again 1 next example 2 factorial of 2 is 2 next example 3 we are getting two passes pass 1 and pass 2 in the previous all examples we are not having any passes in this case we are having two pass that is loop is executed twice in the first case the resulting value is 2 in the second case it is 6 so finally factorial of 3 is 6 again increase the value next output take it as 4 so we are getting 3 passes 1 2 and 3 it means that loop is executed 3 times and the final value is 24 so 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 that is multiplied by 2 that is 24 so this is the answer next example 5 we are getting 120 let's try to enter some negative values say minus 5 it is showing error message entered number is negative please enter positive number. on entering any of the negative numbers we will get similar math as it is not defined so we are our program is handling the errors let's check what is happening when we are entering 0 when 0 is entered this condition n is equal to 0 this condition holds false as n is not less than 0 so we will go to the else block in the else block factorial is assigned with now we will go to the initialization part i is initialized with 2 now here we are checking that 2 i is 2 whether 2 is less than equal to 1 and is uh, sorry 0 no it's false so we will be outside the loop finally it will display the value of factorial that is uh, that is 1 so one is displayed take another example say 3 when 3 is entered this condition is 3 is less than 0 false so we will in the else section now factorial is initialized with 1 i is initialized with 2 so 2 is less than 3 yes so we will enter the loop factorial is 1 i is 2 2 into 1 is 2 2 will be stored here it will display 2 here again we will return to the increment section increase the value of i i is now 3 3 is less than false but it is equal to 3 so the condition is true now we will again enter the loop factorial is 2 2 multiplied by 3 that is 6 this will be stored here it will display 6 now again go to i plus plus it will increase the value of by 3 to 4 now test the condition condition holds false as 4 is less than neither less nor equal to n so finally we will be outside the loop and this will display the factorial of the number this is how we can check the output thank you for now